What's up YouTube? This is Madcock83. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Amco Mod Pack, which may sound weird, but I'm going to show you how to install it because they are using uh, one of our modified installers and it generally follows the same install instructions as the DNS Tech Pack, but uh, I don't know how many of ARG's users have actually seen that install video, so I'm going to make one specifically for Amco. What I've done here, right here, I've downloaded the two versions of it, the one without Optifine and one with Optifine. What I'm going to do is show you how to install the pack using the installer, and if for some reason uh, the installer doesn't work, I'm going to show you how to do a manual install. Right now the installer is still pretty new, and there are a couple little bugs with it which are being worked out as we speak. Uh, maybe by the time some of you watch this, those will already be solved. But uh, what you're going to do is want to open that up. You're going to open your download. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to do the one without Optifine. Grab that folder right there. Just drag that to your desktop. Once you get that folder in there, you're going to open it up. You're going to see two things here. You're going to see your bin folder and the installamco.exe. Uh, we'll start with the normal installer. Uh, click yes and all that if it asks you for it. You'll get this window here. Um, what I like to do first, of course, installing this pack, this has nothing to do with the installer, but you want to start with a clean, fresh 1.1 or whichever version this is for, .minecraft. Um, here's my .minecraft here, and this is a clean install. There's, it hasn't even been ran yet. The only thing out of the ordinary in here is my last login. Uh, what you want to do before you start this is use some of these backup and restore features. They're already done for me, but I'm going to show you how to do them. Uh, before I install the pack, I would name this clean 1.1, which I have right here. And I'd hit this and create a backup. Now the reason I tell you to do this is the next time the pack updates, instead of you having to go through and delete all the stuff you don't want, uh, you can run this and hit backup and backup your world whichever uh, whatever it's called Amco world and once you hit create backup it's gonna save all your worlds that you're currently you currently have in there right now um, <clears throat> now when the pack updates you can go ahead and open this installer hit restore you can restore to a clean 1.51 and then once you've done that go ahead and install the pack once the pack is installed you'll also hit restore again go to your worlds and pick the one you just made and restore and you have to do nothing else in your dot minecraft you've backed up your worlds from the previous update and you've already put them back in your dot minecraft and you're ready to go now as far as the installer goes uh, you can simply run this if you're installing to your normal dot minecraft jar I mean a uh, normal dot minecraft folder just hit install the pack if you're running something like multi MC or anything like that you click this little blue folder up here and of course mine's going to be different than everybody else's but find wherever you install multi MC and you can put it back in that instance anybody who uses this feature probably knows how to do it just make sure you pick a dot minecraft folder not any other type of folder or it won't work um, little links thing here that's going to bring you up to uh, ARG's page on the minecraft forums just for any info about mods links all that good stuff um, now we're ready to install the pack. This little black button over here is a console for the installer. It will tell you everything it's doing. Once you hit install, it's going to go to work. And this will take longer for various people depending on your system. It, it, you know, of course, if you have a slower computer, so it might take a little bit longer. If you have a faster computer, it'll go a little faster. One error you can get where it won't install, it'll tell you it can't find uh, the zip or can't find the mod package it's trying to, is if you don't extract it from the archive it downloads from. Just make sure you go ahead and extract it. Uh, with the .exe, it should work. Um, there's also a .jar that the installer has that runs off Java, which I may put in the the, a link to it in the description since ARC doesn't include it. But they're pretty much the exact same thing. One's an EXE, one's a jar. Um, pack's already installed. And that's it. You start your Minecraft up however you start it. And you should be good to go. Now, if the pack happens to have an issue, which uh, they're having right now with one certain mod just eating up your world generation, uh, 
that's not an installer problem. That's that's an issue with one of the mods in the pack. That's a you know once you get to this point here, it's no longer an installer thing. It's running the pack however it runs. Just make sure if you want to report a bug, you know if you're reporting a bug either with the pack or with the installer itself. All right, now that that's done. I'm going to run this one more time. I'm going to restore to a clean 1.15. Minecraft has been restored. Let's say the installer is having issues for you or, or we're having a problem that we haven't fixed yet and it's just not working. You don't like it. Whatever. Go ahead and open that folder back up. Go to this bin folder. Go to mods and you're going to find an Amco Rev 5 or whatever version is in there. You can open that up and you're going to have two folders. Jar and root get to your .minecraft however you normally do it and it's pretty self-explanatory go ahead and open up your minecraft jar delete the meta inf and whatever is in this jar folder just go ahead and select it all drop it in there let it do it thing so again this is with your computer settings how fast it's going to take everything and go back one uh, go back to your minecraft folder anything that has root written on it goes in your dot minecraft so you select all that good stuff drop it over there since this is a pretty big pack it's going to take it a second uh, if it asks you to move and replace just remove and replace all that stuff and that's it the pack is manually installed just run minecraft like normal and you're good to go. I hope this was helpful. I hope this cleared up any issues that may have come from the installer, the new installer that Arc's trying to use that we're trying to provide for them. Uh, we're actually setting up a page right now where if you're having problems with the installer, you can straight s send it to us, the guys who make it, and which would be a big help for us getting any bug reports straight from you guys. Uh, I'll put a link to that down there once it's finished. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoy the installer. I hope you enjoy Amco. It's a great mod pack. I really dig on it. I'm starting to learn a bunch of stuff about it, which has a lot of mods that I'm not used to, and I really enjoy it. Uh, Y'all guys, take it easy. Have a good day.